Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In previous video, we've discussed how to accelerate inference for transformers on CPU platforms. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the same on GPU platforms, thanks to the integration of Better Transformer, a really cool PyTorch extension, into our Optimum library. So we'll try uh, an NLP model and a computer vision model, and you'll see we get pretty interesting speedups in just one line of code. So let's get to work. Data Transformer is a PyTorch extension available since PyTorch 112. And uh, you can read the blog post here for details on how Better Transformer works and what to expect from it. Of course, I'll put the link in the video description. Uh, this is now supported in Hugging Face Optimum, which you should be familiar with right now our open source library dedicated to hardware acceleration. And as of uh, version 1.5, which is uh, which was released just four days ago, uh, you can use better transformers with just one line of code and uh, models from the Hugging Face Hub. So this is super simple. There are some other really cool features in that release, by the way. Um, Whisper is supported with the NNX and so on, so go check it out. There's a lot of stuff happening in the Optimum library these days, okay? But for now, let's focus on better transformers and let's take a look at the code. So first, uh, of course, we need to do a little bit of setup, right? As usual, nothing really complicated. So here I'm using um, a GPU instance on AWS, I'm using a P3 instance with an NVIDIA GPU. This is running on Ubuntu. And I'm just doing a very simple setup, creating a virtual environment and uh, installing my requirements. Okay, super nice and simple. The requirements are PyTorch um, 112 or newer, Optimum 1.5 or newer, and then some extra libraries that are needed to uh, evaluate our models. Okay, so very simple setup, nothing complicated. You can replicate this in seconds. So let's look at our first example here. Okay, so this is actually an example I already used uh, with ONNX, I believe. And um, I'm starting from a distilled model that I fine tune for text classification. And this is actually multi-class classification for Amazon Shrew reviews predicting the star rating, one star to five stars for uh, English language Shrew reviews, okay? So this model is on the hub. Uh, this is the data set that I use to fine tune it. Um, and first, obviously, I'm going to uh, compute uh, a baseline over the, the test set just to get a sense of uh, the speed for the original model. And I'm using the evaluate library to do this, okay? So basically just um, computing how long it takes for this model uh, and this pipeline to go over the, the test set, okay? And I'm using the accuracy metric, right? So I'm doing this, as you can see here, right? Uh, for, the, um, for the original model. And then, of course, I want to do the same for the better transformer model. So how complicated is it to build a better transformer model with Optimum? Well, it is simple <laughs> and, you know, I don't think it could be simpler. <laughs> so this is really what it takes. Uh, we're using the pipeline object from the Optimum library. OK, the task type, the model ID, as usual, we define uh, an accelerator, and this will be better transformer, of course. And I want to make sure this runs on my first GPU. So using device equals zero, but this is really the important parameter. And then, of course, we're evaluating the pipeline again and printing the results. If you don't want to use the pipeline, if you want to load the model uh, and the tokenizer and get a little more control, you can do that as well. Um, basically, this is equally uh, equally simple. You just uh, you just use a better transformer object, pass it to a model, and it returns an optimized version 
of, uh, of that model, okay? So you don't have to use the pipeline, I'm just using this because it's so simple, but you could work with uh, the model object itself, okay? So why don't we run this and see how it goes? All right, so after a couple of minutes, we've predicted the test set with the original model and with the, the optimized model. So the, the original model did it in 71 seconds and the optimized model did it in 57. So yeah, that's about, yeah, that's about 20%, right? Oh, let's actually check that. Um, sounds like it. Um, I will round those things up just to make it simpler. So yeah, 71. Yeah, okay, 20%. So that one line of code just speeds up the model 20%. And uh, as, as you can see, there is uh, no change at all in accuracy. There shouldn't be. Uh, so 20% just like that is, is very good, right? Uh, as easy as it gets. So how about we do the same for a vision transformer model that I have here? And this is the example I've already used, I think in the OpenVINO um, video. So this one is a Google Vision Transformer model that I fine-tuned on the auto train. Uh, and I fine-tuned it for image classification on the Food 101 dataset. Okay. Um, and by the way, if you want to see the list of architectures that are supported at the moment by Better Transformer, uh, you can find this in the doc. And you'll find, uh, I guess, all the popular ones uh, for NLP, uh, the Vision Transformer, and uh, and some speech models as well, but Wave 2, Vec 2, and Whisper. Okay, so a good selection of models for your uh, for your different use cases. Okay, so back to our Vision Transformer. So here um, again, we're going to download the model, uh, the original model, and score it on 25% uh, of the test set. And we're going to optimize the model again with a one-liner and run this thing again. Okay, and this is exactly the same, right? Creating a pipeline with the accelerator. Nothing complicated. Okay, so let's run this. There we go. And we can see in a minute how fast we're going, okay? So what does that look like? Um, the original model did it in 104, 105 seconds. And the better transformer model did it in 72. So that looks like 25 something, right? Uh, 104, okay, let's be precise here. 72. How is that looking? Oh, 30%, even better. Um, yeah, so there you go. Yeah, you can speed up your vision transformer just like that. Um, zero accuracy drop, 30, uh, 30%. Um, and again, these are just a couple of models that I, uh, that I use here. But feel free to try out the, the different architectures. And, uh, and you may see even better results. Who knows? So um, that's it. That's really what I wanted to show you today. A bit of a shorter video, but I don't think you'll mind. Um, you know, that one line of code is magic. Um, I encourage you to go and try it out. I will put all the links in the video description as usual. And I'll see you soon with more content, maybe more acceleration. Who, who knows? I'm just obsessed with this thing. And until then, keep rocking.